Special guest to lead us off here uh, for this race weekend. Joanna Long drives the number 70 Ford Travel Chevrolet in the NASCAR Nationwide Series. And Joanna is a native of Pensacola, Florida, but she and she's also a Sunoco Rookie of the Year contender, okay? But she kind of cut her teeth around here in Alabama racing late models uh, before moving up to the Camping World Truck Series last year and then the Nationwide Series this year. So, uh, you know, she's, she's in an area here uh, in Alabama that she's familiar with, and I know she's looking forward to, uh, to the race tomorrow. Joanna, welcome. It's good to and, be here. And uh, maybe talk a little bit about how your season's going and a little bit about, uh, you know, this, this part of the country you, you've, you're very familiar with and, and being here at Talladega. Well, it's like my home track, I guess you can say. I live about two hours from my home track. So it's, it's like home. All my family's here this weekend to watch me race. But this is my first year in the Nationwide Series, and I feel like it's gone really well. I feel like we've had a – we've had a sh I had my um, – goals that I wanted to um, run in the top 15 or run in the top 20 and I feel like I've worked with the team really hard this year to g get good cars and be, be a good driver and them to learn me and what I like so we're doing really good at it. Okay very good uh, Joanne we'll take some questions now I think Lee did you have a question? Lee Spencer's got a question state your name affiliation then we'll go to Bob Pockers go ahead Lee. Lee Spencer, Fox Sports. So Travis Pastrana had this bet last week that if the girls beat him on the racetrack, he'd give his winnings to charity. Have you girls followed up on that yet? No, I haven't, but I heard about it. I'm glad I could be a part of that. That was really cool, I guess you can say. And it was really cool racing with him. You know, he's a great driver, and it was cool to be a part of that. And we had a really good race at Richmond last week, and it was probably a short track. It was a short track, and it was one that I should be good at. I'm from short tracks, and it was a lot of fun to be out there. Bob? Uh, Bob Hockris, uh, Sporting News. Um, I know a lot of people kind of try to compare you to Danica, but I wanted to ask you what it's like because it seems that all the, anybody who dislikes Danica is like rooting for you. It's like that, that her presence has created new fans for you. Have you gotten the sense of that at all? And I mean, and, can, and did you expect that kind of a reaction from fans? I guess you expect it, I guess, because like, people like to root for different people but I really don't like compare myself to anyone else you know just another driver out there in a 43 car field and it's out there worrying about myself and my car and to better place my finish you get a lot of a little bit of everything for sure you know I try not to pay attention to it but it's good to have new fans out there and you know I'm trying to grow my my fan base just as everyone else out there, so I guess it's a good thing. <laughs> Over here to the left, go ahead, Woody. Woody came with MRN. I was just curious about you being so young, how you're doing with the whole patience thing. You've got a, a really good record in late models. You're still doing that some. Is it difficult jumping back and forth to kind of keep the patience in check, knowing that you can do the late model thing very well, but this is a, a new ball game for you? It is a new ball game. You know, when you go back around late models, you can win races and you can run up front. And when you come out here, you have to earn your respect out here and you have to fight hard for 15th and 20th place. And, and it's really tough, but you, it's all part of learning. And you just have to go out there, race your hardest, and do the best you can because it's a learning curve. Got a question here, Nate. You have a question? Nate Ryan, USA Today. Uh, do, do you know Danica ver very well, Joanna, and, and do you take any pride in when you can beat her when she's probably in, in equipment that's a little bit better? And um, she tries to deflect a lot of the questions about being a woman in racing. Are you, are you sort of the same way that's just more about just being a driver rather than the gender? Ex exactly. You know, when I first started racing go-karts, I knew it was going to be about that, but I never really like to pay attention to that. I'm just another driver out there trying to make it in, in the world of NASCAR, you know, so it's just trying to run my best I can run, and I really don't pay attention to all of that. Um, I haven't really um, met her before, but I've, I've seen her like around the driver intros and stuff like that, and we see each other, but we haven't really spoke. So no real sort of rivalry or flight back? No. Just, no. Other questions? Right here, Jeff, and then back to Bob. Jeff of Racing today, uh, you talked about setting your goals. You're used to winning at the late model level, and it's a lot tougher here. Can you talk about having uh, former Nationwide Series champion David Green as your spotter and what he's brought to you as a coach? It means so much for me, someone like him, to help me and be my spotter and also my driver coach because someone like him 
to be on your side is really big because he knows so much. When him, With him up on that spotter stand and him telling me how the race is going to play out and what I can do to better myself, it, it's it's a tremendous amount, and he's a great help to me, and I really don't know if I could do this without him right now. Back to Bob. I'm Bob Parker, Sporting News. Um, do you feel like people root for you because they look at you as having kind of grown up stock car racing and um, – do you consider, still consider like the snowball derby kind of the big thing that people point to when they do root for you? For sure, you know, that's the biggest win. And, you know, that's where I come from, Pensacola, Florida. And that's where I got my biggest win so far. So I, I feel that people do follow me a lot because of the snowball derby win. But it's big for me, you know. Any fans is good fans. And, like, I guess you could say that from a um, late model side, that's where everyone follows me because that is where I came from. Go ahead, Doug, right there in the middle. Yes, um, uh, um, jo Johanna, <laughs> back here. <laughs> I th um, I th have you figured out yet whether um, you're, you're going to be racing tonight against Red Farmer? I'm not. Um, we were. I was planning on it, but it's just maybe next time. I was hoping that I was going to get to make my first dirt start tonight, but I'm not going to be able to. Is, is, that, is that a letdown of sorts? Not really, because I have uh, some good plans tonight with um, the other drivers and other things that I have to do. But I'm pretty sure I'll get my chance again to go race dirt with them again. Okay. Any additional questions, Bob? Is the plan for you this year still 20, what, 20 races? Really? And can you kind of talk about what you hope to gain through these 20 races? And what are you looking on beyond this year? Well, I get 21 races with ML Motorsports. I think this is my sixth one. This is going to be my sixth one this year. And I feel like I've, me and the team have progressed a lot this year. And it's just keep on learning. You know, this is my first year in the Nationwide Series. And just keep on progressing each, each weekend and each weekend out and hoping for the best, you know, hopefully to get those top 15 finishes and those top 10 finishes. And just knowing that I get my 110% out of the car every weekend and I give my 110%. And I know it's a good weekend. And, I, I get another year next year. I get 21 races with ML Motorsports in 2012 or 2013 also, and hope, hoping for a full season.